Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 2.1, the Periodic Table. So, Periodic Table is that thing I've been handing out to you, and we're going to explain the Periodic Law, identify and name specific regions of the Periodic Table, such as groups, periods, etc., and you'll learn what those are. It's the 16th of month, so guess what? My Oprah magazine is coming on the 16th of February, 16th of March, 16th of April, etc., etc., etc. So, these are, magazines are called periodicals. And periodical means repeating, 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 repeating. Just like the same thing Oprah says over and over and over again. Periodic law, when atoms are arranged by atomic number, trends will repeat. Atomic number, remember, is the whole number, so the trends will repeat. So examples of this are charge, oh, sorry, charge, size, and when your Cosmo magazine arrives. Don't read that. It's naughty. Columns equals families equals groups. So... This would be column number one. I guess I should have made another one. Column number two. All the way up to column number 18. And that's a column. And it's the same thing as a family and same thing as a group. And they have similar properties. A period is a row. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this would be period one, period two, period three, period four, period five. So if you think of this as the stage, then you should know if you're in the first row, that's good. No one ever says, oh, I got great seats at the One Direction concert. I was in the fourth column. That's nonsense. So you should be able to tell there's between a row and a column pretty easily. Series are special, like The Simpsons. So a series would be there's a transition series. So you guys are going to have to draw yourselves or print a whole bunch of periodic tables in your notes. And there's the transition series. And here are the inner transition series. So let's work on drawing some periodic tables. Big one, little one, a little crossbar. There you go, that's a periodic table. Big one, little one, crossbar. Middle one, top. Okay, you're going to draw a bunch of them. History. Dmitry Mendeleev saw trends when arranged by atomic mass. Uh uh, wah, 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 wah. Remember, he, that's what he did. Oops, but close. He predicted elements in their property before they were discovered. Today it's arranged by atomic number, which remember, number of photons. Who says science doesn't change? Nobody says that. Charge is periodic. So that means that it will repeat. So hydrogen is plus one. Helium is zero. Lithium is plus one, plus two, plus three, zero. Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Next row, plus one, plus two, plus three, zero. Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Plus one, plus two, skipping this middle part, plus three, zero. Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. So I can label the tops of the columns and know it fits for everything. And you need to know these. Okay? Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Regions of the periodic table. Metal, non-metal, metalloid. Now, you should know that iron is a metal. And here's my little dividing line. So if I know iron is a metal, and I know nickel is metal and zinc, so everything on the left is a metal. That's the worst arrow I've ever drawn. Everything on the left of that arrow is a metal, except for this. This guy's a non-metal. Non! And everything on the right is a non-metal. But there are some metalloids in there, and a the metalloid has two sides on a step. So I've shaded in my metalloids. So hopefully you drew your... Notice aluminum is a metal. So hopefully you've shaded in your metalloids. So if I were to draw... My metals, there's my metals, metals, and then my non-metals would be a little hydrogen, and then metalloids are on the staircase, so it would just be the, okay. Metals have luster, that means they're shiny. They conduct electricity. So if you stick an aluminum can in a light socket, it hurts. They're solids at room temperature, with the exceptions of mercury. They are malleable. You hit it with a hammer, it bends. Hammer, whoops. 
and they react with acid, and that's pretty much it. Now, non-metals are the opposites. So they are literally the opposite of it. A metalloid, so non-metal properties are not luster, not electrical conductivity, not solid, not malleable. The opposite of malleable would be brittle, meaning you shatter like glass. And they don't react with acids. And metalloids do um, something like one property of non-metals and one property of metals. Lanthanide, actinide, transition. Woo! So here are the ones that you need to know. And I told you these already. So this is a my happy little review. This guy right here is your transition metals. These guys right here, the X's, are your inner transition metals. And that's all you need to know. Woohoohoo! Just for fun. The lanthanide are this series right here. And the actinide are this series right here. Ohana means family. Lilo and Stitch taught me that. Lilo and Stitch says family means nobody is left behind or forgotten. Chemists say families are columns and they're similar. See, Lilo has two eyes. Stitch has two eyes. Lilo has a tongue. Stitch has a tongue. They're similar. Hydrogen is an orphan like Stitch, so it actually is its own family. How clever. Their names are the families of the A elements. So this right here are the alkali. Oh, I guess I can draw arrows, can I? Alkali metals, boop. Alkali and earth, boop. Aluminum group, hey, whoops, that's not right. It's not the aluminum group, sorry. The boron group. Carbon group, hey, I'm starting to see a pattern. If it says nitrogen group, that's where it goes. But F is not the fluorine group, it's the halogen group. Oh, and noble gases are the last ones. Valence electrons are the outer electrons. So that means it's only these tall columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're called representative columns. Okay, so they're the representative columns. And they're also called the group A. Now, if you notice, these guys are losers, never even remembered. Loser, 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 loser. Not representative, not group A. So if I'm in the same family, we'll have similar sizes. Yay! If I'm in the same, or it will have similar reactivity. Yay! We'll have identical charges. Yay! If you learn to wet my pants in second grade, waving my hand in the air to ask to go to the bathroom. Oh, wait, that wasn't me. That was Delia. Oh, I'll be different from my neighbors on my left and on my right. Are these traits periodic? Size. Yes. So size gets big, small. And then you get to the next row. It's big, small. And it goes big, small. So yes. Charge. Yes, we know those charges. Reactivity. So what happens is yes, and we'll go into that in more detail. Periodicities due to similar electron range. Hey, that's in bold. I bet that's important. And it is. Review. There was too much writing in this podcast. It was a long and Families equal truth. And calm yourself down. Periods equals rows. So traits change but repeat. Yes, need to memorize the groupings. Mm. We will spend a ton of time with us. What is periodic law? When atoms are arranged by atomic number, times repeat. That is the end of this happy podcast. Doodles. Hey, that's periodic.